Hey guys, this is Tiger Nemesis once again, and I am back with another video in my Titanfall 2 series. In this video, we get into Last Titan Standing. This is one of my favorite game types to play besides attrition. It forces you to become better at whichever Titan you choose to use, and you have to use teamwork to win. Regardless of which Titan you enjoy to use for LTS, I hope that the following tips and strategies will help you become a deadlier pilot in Titan. Let's begin with your pilot loadout. I personally made and use one specific pilot loadout for LTS and switched to it whenever I play it. I highly recommend using this loadout and will explain the benefits in detail. Let me show you my loadout first and then give you the reasons why I use and suggest each item. My LTS pilot loadout consists of phase shift, arc grenades, the R201 assault rifle with extra ammo and gun ready. Although you can use whatever rifle that you prefer. I have the MGL with extra ammo and the speed loader. Phase embark, low profile, and also add the extra battery boost. Okay, let's go ahead and first talk about the pilot tactical kits. Phase shift. In my opinion, this is the best tactical kit to use. This helps you avoid enemy weapons, melee attacks, fire, arc waves, pretty much anything. It also helps you tremendously with stealing batteries, annoying enemy titans, and best of all, you get two of them. I will get more into detail with phase shift later in the video. Grapple hook. This only helps to move around the map, but not to play offense against titans. Don't even try to use this to rodeo an enemy titan because you're giving a gigantic red flag that informs them of your intentions, so the reaction will be deadly to you. Hollow pilot. Useless for LTS because it doesn't aid you in attacking or evading enemy titans and pilots. Pulse blade. Although this is useful for many pilots in other game types, it doesn't really have any use in LTS. When you are running around as a pilot, you can't really use it against titans. If you do decide to use it where an enemy titan is, you will give away your position because after you use it, the enemy titan will know that you are close and will play offense more aggressively towards your presence. Stim. I see a lot of players use this when they get out of their titans to quickly retrieve batteries that are on the field, and it's also helpful if you need to stay away from titans. However, this runs out pretty fast and it takes forever to use again. If you use it to get close to an enemy titan, it will not reload in time for you to use it again for your escape. Cloak. This is a great kit, but pilots can still see you and the duration isn't very long. If you use it in an effort to rodeo an enemy titan, you can use it to escape after you've dropped the grenade or stolen the battery and this makes you into a sitting duck. If you happen to rodeo an enemy titan without using it, you can use it for your escape, but its effects are rendered useless since you have a gigantic indicator on you that the enemy titan can see. You are indeed invisible, but that indicator and the glowing streak on you gives your position away. AWOL. This kit forces you to stand still and attack the enemy titans with increased damage. I highly suggest that you never stop moving in LTS as a pilot unless absolutely necessary. Besides, this kit doesn't help you with that enemy pilot or titan behind you while you're too busy paying attention to your forward field of vision. Let's briefly talk about your pilot kit number one, Phase Embark. Best kit to use for LTS. This helps you get in and out of your titan faster and is mainly used to retrieve field batteries. I highly suggest this kit because it is more beneficial to plan to stay on your titan rather than shooting yourself in the foot from the get go by choosing another pilot kit to use when your titan gets destroyed. In other words, the other pilot kits are only useful to you as a pilot and not as a titan. Ordnance Expert. This is my favorite kit to use outside of LTS, but again, plan a good offense within your titan rather than when you are out of it. Fast Regen. I only see this kit as beneficial in recovering health when you're getting shot by an enemy pilot, not by enemy titans. This is because most enemy titans can kill you with one shot. Power Cell. This kit just makes your pilot tactical kit reload faster, which again is only beneficial to you if you plan to stay out of your titan. Next, let's talk about pilot kit number 2, Kill Report. This kit doesn't add any good defense or offense elements to your loadout for LTS, it just displays indicators where your enemies got killed. Wall Hang. No wall hang for you. This is another kit that makes you into a sitting duck, or rather it makes you into a huge target hanging out on the wall especially since you more than likely will be shooting at your enemies. Hover. Yet another kit that makes you into a huge motionless target. Except this one gives out your position easier than the wall hang kit. If you ever want to know what a fly feels when it's seen, choose this kit. Low profile. This is the best kit to use in the entire game since it changes the perception of taking batteries or dropping grenades into enemy titans. 
Besides also hiding your jump jet trails, this is what you need if you want an above 90% success rate when you're stealing batteries. Trust me, I always use this kit even outside of LTS and I will get more into detail later in the video. As for your boost, I highly recommend that you use the battery boost for LTS. The reason why I say this is because you have the slight chance that you will inflict enough damage as a pilot to earn a battery and give it to a friendly titan. In my previous video, I went into depth about how important batteries are and how much of your health they end up recovering. So if your titan gets destroyed, help out your teammates by retrieving batteries and giving it to them when the coast is clear. Remember that the only downside about holding a battery is that you emit a yellow streak behind you while you're running that is easily visible to enemy titans and pilots. Let's continue and get right into some strategies that you might want to consider using while playing LTS. My first main suggestion is to always stick with at least one teammate titan. If you do decide to go lone wolf, at least have an exit strategy, a good escape route, or if you have a mic, communicate with your teammates to let them know where you decided on going. Even if you're on a full team of random players with or without mics, they still might be able to hear you and will come to help. Try to use callouts at all times to let teammates know which enemy titans are on the field. I've been in several LTS teams where no one had a mic but me. I still called out information to my teammates and most of the time they managed to help or gave me signals that they understood the callout. One personal favorite callout for having an enemy pilot rodeo me is to put my back towards my teammate look up at the sky and teabag non-stop so that they see the pilot on my back and help. Ah, teabagging. A seriously useful, non-verbal way of communication for humiliation, or in this case, for help. Another strategy that I use often is to avoid focusing on enemy pilots when there are enemy titans around you. Too many times have I seen a friendly titan spend so much time trying to kill an enemy pilot that they don't pay attention to the enemy titan shooting at them. Pilots can be very annoying, but they can't do nearly as much damage as an enemy titan can within the same time frame. This is why it's important to look at your minimap around every 5 seconds to know your surroundings. All titans will be displayed on your minimap when they shoot their respective weapons. I'm fairly certain that all of us have had a moment when there aren't any enemy titans around and boom goes the dynamite, now you're surrounded. This is why it's imperative to look at your minimap map as often as possible. I would also recommend glancing behind yourself every 15 to 20 seconds to make sure that an enemy titan isn't sneaking up on you. I'm not gonna lie, since I use Scorch as my main titan, I take advantage that enemy titans don't look behind themselves and I end up demolishing them with my inferno shield. Another thing to add to this is to literally listen for enemy titan footsteps along with enemy pilots and for their jump jet sounds even if that means you stop moving for a couple seconds to hear them better. One good tip to use is that if you get stuck in a situation where you have to retreat and you have an electric smoke, run towards a fork or a dividing path and use the electric smoke. Just before you disappear into the smoke, turn in a direction, get into the smoke, and go the other direction. You can take advantage of this to ambush an enemy from behind or to lure them into going the wrong direction so you can escape. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I always suggested you stay around building corners or tall objects to avoid nuclear ejections and enemy titan cores. Staying around these areas will also help you retreat with the electric smoke tactic. This strategy leads into my next tip. If you use Scorch, North Star, or Ion, use your weapons as motion tracking indicators when retreating. For example, if you use Scorch like me, throw an incendiary trap in an area of interest, ignite it and walk away. As you are walking away, you will be notified by the damage indicator when an enemy pilot or titan walks into it, thus turning it into a motion indicator. You can also do this with Ion's tripwire bombs, as well as with North Star's tether traps and cluster missiles to some degree. Two random little facts. Number one. Tone's particle wall and any titan's dome shield can be destroyed by Ronin's arc wave. This also has an arc grenade effect on enemy pilots which would make it easier to get close for the kill. Random fact number 2. Legion's smart core can shoot all of the missiles from Tone's salvo core. Let's move on to helping you become a better battery thief. As I've stated already, don't use a grappling hook because you're just announcing your intentions to an unaware titan. Since titans obviously move faster than pilots, always counter this by sliding and running along walls to get the speed boost you need to rodeo. You shouldn't ever put yourself in a situation where you're out in the open with an enemy titan. 
so stay around walls and objects to avoid getting killed. Staying alive as a pilot is more important than getting one more shot of yours to hit an enemy titan and risking getting killed for it. It seriously just isn't worth it. Don't ever try to rodeo an enemy titan from the front because like the grappling hook you're letting the titan know that you're going to rodeo him and he will react accordingly. Which more often than not leads to you getting turned into a burst of red confetti from a titan melee punch. If you use the loadout that I had suggested earlier, it should be fairly easy to steal a battery. If you just eject it from your Titan, there are going to be two outcomes. Number one, the enemy Titan sees that you have ejected and will keep shooting at you while you are in the air. Or number two, the enemy Titan will ignore you and walk away. If you get into situation number one, where the enemy Titan is still focused on you, immediately throw one arc grenade at him to blur his vision and aid you in landing safely. Then retreat into a building or roof. Use the second arc grenade to blur his optics again and begin running towards him to rodeo him. If necessary, use only one phase shift to get close enough. Just as a quick reminder, use your mini map while you are in phase shift to know where the enemy titan is and jump towards the titan before you come out of phase shift. It is always better to be in the air rather than on the floor when coming out of a phase shift. If you did this correctly, you should now be in the rodeo animation and the enemy titan will think that you just ran away. By this time, you should have another arc grenade reloaded and at least one phase shift to use. The second that you are touching the battery, he will obviously be aware of you and throw out an electric smoke if he has it or alert teammates. Always remember that you will have an indicator on you for approximately 5 seconds that the enemy titan can see once you jump off. So by the time you do jump off, use your phase shift and start wall running. Start cooking your arc grenade while in phase shift and double jump as you're getting out of it so you can throw it towards the enemy titan to blind him again. Then haul ass away from him. If you get the second situation where the titan ignores you after you eject, use one arc grenade as soon as you reach the apex of height and are coming back down to blind and freeze him. Maneuver yourself to land on top of the titan and just before you reach him, throw a second arc grenade to freeze him once again. After you rodeo the enemy titan and steal the battery, you have the luxury of having two phase shifts to escape from the enemy titan. If you threw your first arc grenade at the apex of your ejection, <laughs> I'm sorry that, that just sounded funny, at the apex of your ejection, by the time you get off from rodeoing the enemy titan, you should have another arc grenade available to use if you absolutely need it to run away. Personally, for my other pilot loadouts that I use outside of LTS, I always run with phase shift, arc grenades, an MGL, and low profile. This helps me so much to get away from losing a firefight, a bad situation, or take advantage of enemy titans and steal the batteries fairly easily. Well, that's going to be all of my strategies and tips that I have for you guys in this video today. I hope that the information that I have provided will help you while playing LTS, your pilot loadout for LTS, and becoming a better buttery smooth titan battery thief. Please remember to push the like button, share this video with your fellow pilots, and let me know if this helped by commenting down below. Also, check out my previous video where I provided some great strategies for using Scorch, and the link is in the description for you guys below as well. Again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.